The administration of the University of Juba, through the senior management meeting, formed a committee to implement the proposed idea of development fees levied on students to support the infrastructural development. The development fee is estimated at 100 US dollar per each student paid annually separate from the school fees to create a sense of ownership among students in regards to the proposed construction and development of school amenities. In this case, considering that there are about 30,000 registered students at the University of Juba, if each student pays the same amount of 100 US dollar, it would sum up to 3 million US dollars, just about enough budget to construct the proposed lecture halls complex at Customs Campus. However, since most students are already struggling to pay their school fees, the university's administration understands the severity of the matter. This is why the committee is organizing a fundraising campaign on the 17th of November 2022 at Freedom Hall in Juba to raise the needed funds for construction of the new lecture halls complex. The University of Juba is therefore calling on all corporate institutions and well-wishers to attend and contribute during the fundraising event. This is because every dollar or pound received in the fundraising would minimize the number of students paying the development fee. So this project uh, we are starting with, we need at least three million US dollars to put a complex that in which about 4,000 students will be taught at any single time. Uh, a library, central library, that will seat about 1,000 and then you have other wings with the offices, spaces, with business areas and food costs. We need a minimum of three million US dollars and will be steel and glass. Now the student population is about 30,000 students. We are faced with the challenges of physical infrastructure, classrooms, laboratories, library facilities. This is not enough. So what we are trying to do is we want to build new lecture halls for our students. I think our students deserve the best. They need a learning environment that is good, and they also need to sit very spaciously in lecture halls. So that's what we are doing. And if you may know, this is the site that we are proposing, and uh, that is the area that has been marked for, to accommodate the lecture halls. So all the master plan for University of Juba, as a very specific area, as a, as it own the structure, whether it's being built today or it will be built in 10 years, we have a master plan of what we need to do about the University of Juba. And this specific project is a project of interest to us. So what we are saying, if the community, the government, the business people can make a contribution, then it reduces the burden on the students and their parents. Suppose we raise three million, then this year, the student will pay zero development. If they raise half, then they pay 50. That's the, that's the philosophy that we are having. We want this to be a first-class university. And you cannot be a first-class university without the facilities. You need the lecture halls. You need students to sit comfortably. We need to improve the learning environment. So we are appealing for all well-wishers to step in, come and help our students. This is our future. Our future depends on how well we can take care of the students today. This project, uh, we have designed it in a way that is going to be a modern building and, uh, and it will be constructed using a steel structure. And by using steel structure, we are saving cost. We are getting a durable uh, structure. What we are trying to do, there are few people are complaining, but majority uh, we, this is our country, we need to build it, we need to make sacrifices. Uh, students, mostly in secondary school, they pay more to come to here. But suddenly they think this is a government university, but the government is already paying the, uh, the salaries. Suppose now the government was not paying the salaries, even this will not be enough. They will be paying thousands of dollars a year in order to pay the staff if it was private. So they are thinking, those who think that we are privatizing that, no, the university is already highly subsidized. That is why they are paying, we are asking them to pay 
uh, you know, few hundred and average private students, self-sponsored now have been asked to pay about $400 or equivalent. Uh, medical student first year will pay about 1000 On top of that, they have to pay 100 That we think is reasonable. The immediate beneficiaries of this project, which are the students, express their optimism about this ambitious proposal, acknowledging that a number of major infrastructural developments have been successfully erected in the recent past by the current administration. Actually, the project, as the project is based on the development of the campus, as we see the view of the campus has changed. But if we can just look at the situation and the things that have been changed in the campus, should not be equivalent with the money that they are asking here. It's beyond that. There are a lot of changes in the campus. The university is really beautiful. Uh, the development is also progressing well. It has started in 2019 and the progress is really awesome. The initiative to have or to contribute $100 as a development fee, it is something positive on my personal view because when you want to create something good, you must lose something good. It is a natural factor of life. So contributing a hundred dollar and comparing to what needs to be done with that one hundred dollar, it is positive on my personal view. To me it's good. I, w I, want, I want this university to be at the level it should be because it has been there for a long time and the level it is or it was before John O'Cage was here is a different level which is not the same level it should have been. So the develop, development fee, it, it's good. It is a very good initiative being done by the administrator of the University of Juba as well. So it is something very nice. As you can see, the environment is so conducive for learning and for the outlook of the university, since it is representing the national university as South Sudan at large. $100 solution is a very great idea because it's going to help in the development of the school. And also due to the lack of enough lecture rooms and there's so many students in the University of Juba, which is going to be very good for the future coming students. They won't have problems and clashing of causes. Uh, actually, I think this is a good initiative because as we know that this is all for our benefit as a student of this University of Juba. So what the Vice Chancellor is doing is actually for me, I'm, I'm on his side. My wishes goes to everybody outside there uh, that whoever had that heart to fund the student or to fund our school, they are all welcome, the doors are open. Meanwhile, the residents of Juba have also hailed the project, commending the effort of the University of Juba in mobilizing its own resources for development, a move they urged other government institutions to emulate. <laughs> We are happy to, to see some contribution coming outside. Uh, I'm calling all South Sudanese, all businessmen uh, to, to join ends. Because this is school, it is belong to us. It does not belong to any person to come and make it for us. Instead, for you to go and construction outside, big building in Uganda, in Kenya, in where, come and make development here in South Sudan. The proposed lecture halls complex at Customs Campus has the capacity of more than 4,000 students sitting comfortably at a go. It also contains a library, a spacious space for offices, and a business cafeteria. The structure would be built with steel and glass, a key component that guarantees convenience, all-weather structure that stands out as an iconic tower representing progress and prosperity. The lecture hall complex at Customs Campus has the total built-up area of 4,950 square meter, which totals a structure of four flats or three-story building, with the first one costing only the half of the price, which is three million US dollars. This is a modern way of designing and building a state-of-the-arts complex with affordable rates which guarantees reliability, affluence and environmentally conscious structure that stands out from the crowd.